Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Project Evolve 360. Today's post is going to be fairly philosophical, and it's going to be probably controversial, but we're going to talk about it anyway. So it is about cultivating the mindset of a champion and about the recent stirrings about steroids and CrossFit and weightlifting. So I have a unique background and position on the second aspect, and we'll talk about that when we get there. Um, but for the first thing is cultivating the mindset of a champion or somebody who really wants to win at whatever they do. One of the things I find is the most interesting about some of the greatest athletes ever and something that, you know, people can knock the sport of CrossFit or whatever. But one thing I've noticed in watching a lot of the interviews and days in the life or whatever of Rich Froning, who has won the CrossFit Games three times in a row and arguably one of the toughest feats in the history of sports, I will go out on a limb and say that, is that he never worries about anybody else but himself, and which is what I want to talk about is you need to focus on what you're doing. If you want to be the best at what you're doing, you need to focus all your effort and attention on yourself, your own training, the effort you put in, and those kind of things. If every second you spend worrying about what anybody else is doing, your competition, that's energy not spent focused on what you could be doing to improve. So that's the first thing. Cultivating the mindset of a champion, one of the biggest things, the most important things you can do is focus solely on yourself and what you have control over. Don't focus on the competition. Don't focus on what everybody else is. So focus on yourself. Now that brings me to the second point. I don't know if you guys saw the article, but about how you know there has to be steroids and CrossFit for all this stuff. I have, I have a unique experience. Um, so part of my graduate work as most of you guys know, I am wrapping up a PhD in exercise physiology, but the other aspect is I have taken a lot of courses in philosophy, and specifically sport philosophy, and one of the major, one of my major professors is actually one of the, the leading sport philosophers in the world, and she works with the World Anti-Doping Agency, and I have actually been involved in working on educational curriculums to try to prevent steroids in professional sports with Olympic athletes. So I do have quite a bit of experience in the field, but one of the things I've noticed is, again with the same mentality, is you can't control what your competition is doing. So don't worry about if the 99 other athletes are using steroids or using performance enhancing drugs. The great thing about it is you get to make the decision. Control what you can control and let the chips fall where they may. Do you want to win so bad that you're willing to go outside the spirit of the competition and take whatever it is that you want to take to succeed? That's your decision. Whether it's right or whether it's wrong is debatable it's arguable you can quote philosophy you can quote science or whatever but focus on what you have control over you have control over whether you decide to take it or not you have control over what your training is you have control so cultivate the mind of a champion focus on yourself focus on what you can do and what you can control don't worry about what other people are doing focus on yourself improve yourself get better from all angles evolve that's it. Project of All 360 out. We'll catch you guys tomorrow. Audio, get better.